friends this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on turning moment diagram and flywheel for four stroke engine in this video we are going to use simple basic formulas instead of using complicated formulas we are also going to learn how to draw the turning moment diagram for four stroke engine with the help of working of four stroke engine now first i will read what is the given problem the turning moment diagram for a four stroke gas engine may be assumed for simplicity to be represented by four triangles the area of which from the line of zero pressure are as follows suction stroke 0.45 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square compression stroke 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square expansion stroke 6.8 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square exhaust stroke 0.65 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square each meter square of area represents 3 mega newton meter of energy Assuming the resisting torque to be uniform, find the mass of rim of flywheel required to keep the speed between 202 and 198 rpm. The mean radius of the rim is 1.2 meter. So this was the given question. Let us first understand how to draw the turning moment diagram with the help of the working of four stroke engine. So in four stroke engine, four strokes are suction, compression, expansion and exhaust. So in this expansion stroke, power is getting produced and that's why expansion stroke is also known as power stroke. So we can say that the work is done by the gases in the expansion stroke. And what happens during the other stroke? So in suction, compression and exhaust stroke, power is consumed. Or we can say work is done on the gases. Now we will first understand the suction stroke. So this is the inlet valve and this is the exhaust valve. This is the piston cylinder arrangement. Piston is connected to the crank with this connecting rod. So when piston moves from TDC to BDC, inlet valve is getting open and the air fuel mixture is entered in the cylinder. So at the same time initial position of the crank is at A and crank will move from A towards point B. That is half revolution is getting completed. Now in turning moment diagram on this vertical line we have to plot turning moment and on the horizontal line we have to plot the angle covered by the crank. So in the suction stroke half revolution that is angle of 180 degree is getting completed. So 180 degree means we can say pi. So this line that is passing through origin is known as line of zero pressure. Now what happens during the suction stroke? During the suction stroke work is consumed or work is done on the gases by the system. So we have to show the area for the suction stroke below this line of zero pressure. So this area is also mentioned in the question that is 0 0.45 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square. So I will show that here one triangle because turning moment diagram we have to show the turning moment for each stroke in the shape of triangle. And that is also mentioned in the question. So we have to draw here one triangle. Now what is happening during the compression stroke? So piston will move from BDC to TDC. The air fuel mixture is getting compressed and both the valves remain closed. At the same time crank will move from point B towards point A. So again half revolution is getting completed. So that is angle covered is pi. So pi plus pi that is 2 pi. Again work is done on the gases. So this power is consumed. So here A2 is equal to that is area with this compression stroke A2 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 3 meters square. So we have to show this area below this line of zero pressure. So I will show here this area in this way. Then next stroke is the expansion stroke. So what is happening in the expansion stroke? So air fuel mixture burns. And due to this burning of the mixture power is getting produced. And here this is known as the power stroke or the work is done by the gases. So 
area for this expansion stroke that is mentioned in the question we have to show above this line of zero pressure now if we observe this area it is 6.8 into 10 raised to minus 10 so if we observe all the other area this area is much larger that is 6.8 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square so for that if we observe for each stroke that is suction compression expansion and exhaust base remains same so we have to show here increased height because we have we are going to show this area in the form of triangle and area of triangle means half multiplied by base multiplied by height so for this increased area we have to show increase in height so i will show here this is the triangle for the expansion stroke and that is a3 now we will move for the next so next is the exhaust stroke so what is happening in the exhaust stroke so again piston will move from bdc to tdc this exhaust valve is getting open and the crank will again move from point b towards point a that is in the upward direction so here this burnt gases will remove so here we have to show this area that is 0 0.65 to 10 raised to minus 3 in the form of triangle. So I will show you. So this diagram is getting completed. This is the turning moment diagram. Now we have to find out what is the net work done or work done per cycle. So if we observe the work done by the gases here or this power getting produced is getting consumed by the suction stroke, compression stroke and exhaust stroke. So what is the net work done? So work done or we, we, we will say in terms of power. So here power is getting produced in the expansion stroke is used by the suction stroke, compression stroke and exhaust stroke. So net power is equal to power produced in the expansion stroke minus power produced in the suction stroke, power produced in the compression stroke. So we have to add all the powers and we have to subtract from this expansion stroke. So here this, a, this power in terms of area is given because this area is known. So if we write this area, so what is the net area? So net area is equal to, I will say here, this is A1, A2, this is A3 and A4. So A3 minus in the bracket A1 plus A2 plus A4. So this is the net area. But here energy scale is also mentioned. So for these areas what is the energy involved? So energy per unit meter square that is 1 meter square is equal to 3 mega newton meter. So standard unit is new, newton meter. So this 3 mega newton meter we have to convert into newton meter. That is 3 into 10 raised to 6 newton meter. So we have to take this scale. So net area multiplied by energy scale is nothing but net work done per cycle. So I will write the formula net area multiplied by energy scale that is A3 minus in the bracket A1 plus A2 plus A4 multiplied by 3 into 10 raised to minus 6. And if I calculate this that is A3 6.8 into 10 raised to minus 3 in the bracket. 0 0.45 plus 1.7 plus 0 0.65 and we can take here 10 raised to minus 3 as a common term. Then we will get the answer 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 multiplied by 3 into 10 raised to 6 and which is equal to 12 into 10 raised to 3 newton meter. So this is the work done per cycle or we can say net work done per cycle. Now this net work done per cycle is nothing but mean torque multiplied by the crank angle per cycle. So what is the crank angle per cycle? So if during this four stroke one cycle is getting completed. So in this during one stroke what is the total angle covered by crank that is equal to 4 pi. So we have to take here crank angle per cycle is 4 pi work done 12 into 10 raised to 3 and from that we can calculate the mean torque. So mean torque is equal to 955 newton meter. Now we will find out what is the net, net work done during the expansion stroke. So we know what is the area during this expansion stroke and that is mentioned. And we also know what is the energy scale per unit area. 
So if we take area 8 3 multiplied by energy scale that is 6.8 into 10 raise to minus 3 multiplied by 3 into 10 raise to 6. Then 20.4 into 10 raise to 3 newton meter is the work done during the expansion stroke. And this work done is shown by the triangle ABC. That is we have to take area of the triangle. So how we can show this area of the triangle? So we know that half multiplied by base multiplied by height. So height that is vertical line passing through this point A on this base. So here is the point of intersection that is G. So AG is the height. So we will show this 20.4 into 10 raise to 3 which is equal to half multiplied by BC multiplied by AG. So this BC is known. So this BC is what is the distance in between point B and C that is pi. So it is easy for us to calculate AG. So AG is equal to 12,985 Newton meter. So this is the height. So we can show that or we can say that this is the maximum torque. Because the, in expansion stroke power is getting produced that is at the maximum torque. So we will show this 12,985 that is the Tmax. And mean torque is also get, getting calculated. So we have to also plot the mean torque that is at 955 Newton meter. So this is the horizontal line that is the mean torque. So we know that the difference in between maximum torque and mean torque is nothing but excess torque. So excess torque is equal to 12,030 Newton meter. So how we can show the excess torque? So if we observe... This excess torque is nothing but this vertical line that is A to F. So here point of intersection of this vertical line with the main torque that is the point A. Now we will move for the calculation of maximum fluctuation of energy. So we know that maximum fluctuation of energy is the area above this main torque. So I will show with the help of dash line that is area above the main torque. So we have to draw here the lines and this area is nothing but the maximum fluctuation of energy. So if we observe we have to take the area of triangle ADE. So again we will apply the same formula that is half multiplied by base DE multiplied by height AF. So AF is getting calculated that is nothing but T axis but what about this DE? So how to calculate this base D? So for that again we will take the ratio for the two triangles for base to the height. That is in triangle ADE and in triangle ABC. So in these two triangles I will take DE by BC. That is the ratio for base which is equal to ratio for height. That is AF by AG. So this AF is known, AG is also known and this BC is also known. So BC is equal to pi. So if I put all the values, I will get DE is equal to 2.9 rad. So we will put here DE that is 2.9 rad. And if I put all the values, then I will get the maximum fluctuation of energy that is equal to 17,444 Newton meter. Now we will calculate what is the mean speed of the flywheel. So here two range of the flywheel is given that is N1 and N2. Where N1 is 202 and N2 is 198. So we can calculate the mean speed that is N1 plus N2 by 2 that is 202 plus 198 by 2 that is 200 RK. So we know that what is the maximum fluctuation of energy. So maximum fluctuation of energy is the difference in between maximum kinetic energy and minimum kinetic energy. So kinetic energy in case of linear motion we will say half mv square. And here flywheel is rotating that's why we will write here for the rotational motion half and instead of m we will take mass moment of inertia that is i multiplied by angular velocity omega square. So maximum ke that is Maximum limit N1 is given and minimum K that is minimum speed is given that is N2. So in between these two limits N1 and N2 flywheel is rotating. So we can say that maximum kinetic energy half I omega 1 square minus half I omega 2 square. So here half I is constant term we will take outside 
in the bracket omega 1 square minus omega 2 square. So here omega 1 square minus omega 2 square is in the form of a square minus b square. So how we will resolve it? That is a plus b a minus b. So if I take omega 1 minus omega 2 in the second bracket omega 1 plus omega 2. So here if I take divided by 2 below this omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2. So that is nothing but mean angular velocity omega. So we can plot here half omega 1 plus omega 2 which is equal to omega. So what is the equation that will become that is i omega omega 1 minus omega 2. So this omega is nothing but 2 pi n by 60. For omega 1 we will take 2 pi n 1 by 60 and omega 2 we will take 2 pi n 2 by 60. So if I put all the values then here is the equation. So again we will take here 2 pi as a common. So 2 pi multiplied by 2 pi that is 4 pi square and here 60 as a common. So 60 multiplied by 60 that is 3600 and here n, n in the bracket n1 minus n2. So if we observe, we know what is the value of n that is 200, n1, 202 and n2 that is 198. So if I put all the values here and i is mr square that is mass moment of inertia. So mass m of flywheel that we have to find out r radius that is given in the question and here the maximum fluctuation of energy that we have calculated from this area that is 17,444. So only one unknown term is m and m is equal to 1381 kilogram and this is the answer.